Today we shine a light on Seoul, South Korea. Seoul has a population of over 10 million, with some of Asia's most unique and delicious street foods. But today we're getting off the street and heading to the fish market. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we eat Satan's testicles in South Korea. Okay, it was a joke. I'm not really eating Satan's testicles, though they look like they could be. No, this is something much more worse and far more intimidating. And don't let the name fool you. Sea pineapple is not for your average little bit. Seoul is home to a huge number of mini aquariums where you can not only look at the colorful, exotic marine life, but you can eat it too. The sea pineapple, or mungae, is a marine invertebrate filter feeder that preys on plankton. Really nice. You prey on innocent plankton. Okay, I'm about to prey on you, you little. Mungae가 무슨 맛이냐고? 어 시원하고 좀 쌉싸름한 맛. All right, here we are. I'm ready to try mungae, the sea pineapple. 얼마냐고? 두 개. The sea pineapple is prepared by chopping off the root, cutting it in half, and scooping out the fleshy insides. Got to wash them off a little bit. The sea cucumber is a sea squirt found mostly in Korea. Now, I've been told the texture is both crunchy and slimy at the same time. So far, it's not off to a good start. If you look closely, here are probably the slimy parts, and this is probably the crunchy part. The taste has been described as something like iodine or rubber dipped in ammonia. I don't know about you, but that gets me pretty excited. I could have gone for something a little more pineapple-y, but yeah, rubber ammonia. The smell is just super fresh, very oceany, so that's a good sign. Aficionados say the taste is well suited for serving with the Korean rice liquor soju. And when I say aficionado, I mean some guy got really drunk and said he liked how it tasted. This is soju, the devil's piss. The devil's, it's, it's bad. Beware of any food people recommend eating with hard alcohol. There's a reason they're saying that. In Korea, you should never drink alone, so I'm glad you're here with me. Soju is the reason this place is called Land of the Morning Calm. That stuff will knock you out. You won't even realize it. This seems nice. Woo! Holy crap, it is like the ocean exploding in your mouth. Super salty. That is powerful. Shot two. Cheers. It's not unusual for Korean men to ask each other how many bottles of soju they can consume. I'd say if you can drink up to three, you're considered strong. But I've heard of people drinking up to five or six bottles. That's insane. That you will literally not be able to think for a week. When you're drinking the soju, you're like, well, at least it's not sea pineapple. And then when you have the sea pineapple, you're like, well, it's not soju. So this spiny part right here, I asked the woman, she said I should uh, chew it and then throw it out. Now at this point, I think she might just be screwing with me, but uh, let's, let's try it. I don't recommend that. It seems like there's not much water here, right? But then as soon as you bite into it, it just kind of explodes into your mouth. It's, uh, it's almost too much to handle. It is so slimy, I find myself having a difficult time like allowing it to be in my mouth. Like, my instinct is just to chew the hell out of it and then swallow it immediately. I would say this is definitely worth a try. It's a food I've seen a bajillion times on the sidewalks of Korea in the little mini aquariums. Again, it's, it's very oceany. Really, it just feels like I, I drank a shot of ocean water. If you're drunk on soju, that's probably gonna help a lot too. Well, he taught that fish a lesson. Does that guy even work here? <laughs>